Harold and Kumar from 2004, quite possibly one of the funniest movies ever made. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little movie review on Harold and Kumar Go to White Castle from 2004. And I haven't seen this movie in a long, long time. For some reason, it's a little bit intimidating to review your absolute favorite movies. I have no idea why. I'm so glad that I revisited this because I watched a lot of films similar to this. Van Wilder, Not Another Teen Movie, The New Guy. One of my favorites was Van Wilder from 2002. Very solid. I don't know why I didn't do a review on on that but I can say watching Van Wilder watching Harold and Kumar I actually watched all three Harold and Kumars there is something ridiculously special about this movie in general and it's just so much better than all the movies at the time I really like Van Wilder it's probably my favorite from that post American Pie period the early 2000s like party type movies I really did enjoy Van Wilder but this one wasn't only better it was clearly better Harold and Kumar I just love it on so many levels so let's just jump right into the pros to be honest it's one of the funniest movies I've ever seen even to this day it's one of the funniest movies ever made it is just absolutely hilarious I couldn't believe how many different not only funny situations they get in even the little small details there's little jokes and little funny things just crammed into this movie and to me it really is one of the funniest movies ever made there's a lot of story here there's a lot of progression it's a long journey that they go on it's kind of like a journey of growing up up in a way and you know they're kind of a little bit timid by the end of the trip they've really just grown up and they can handle absolutely anything because they just had everything thrown at them I'm a real big fan of like road trip movies and for some reason the newer movies I, I don't know whenever someone goes on a road trip I don't feel like I'm going along with the trip I don't know why one of my favorite road trip movies is Dumb and Dumber and you just feel like you're on board with the trip but then you watch Dumb and Dumber 2 it's a newer movie it's another road trip type movie and you don't feel like you're actually on the road with them it's weird so these older road trip movies I feel so much more like I'm on board with them and this is just one of my favorites of all time there's so many funny cameos and comedians that pop up in here you got like Jamie Kennedy you got Anthony Anderson you got like Bobby Lee Neil Patrick Harris which is a whole funny thing in and of itself and you even got Ryan Reynolds all the cameos of people in this movie not only were interesting to see but they were genuinely hilarious this movie has so many memorable scenes like even if just a few of these scenes were in this movie this movie would be hilarious the jail cell scene is hilarious the surgeon scene is hilarious the Jamie Kennedy scene when he stops to go pee is hilarious the Anthony Anderson scene is hilarious the whole Neil Patrick Harris incident is hilarious the whole crossing the street in the middle of the night all these situations if they just had that in the movie it might have been the high point of the movie and probably would have been enjoyable if they just had a few things but this movie is just jam-packed with hilarious thing after hilarious thing and on top of that it's a little bit more original than the next two movies because the next two movies they find a clever way to do a very similar type joke and kind of copy it a little bit beat for beat but this movie every single thing they did was unique and hilarious all right guys if I were to get into the mixed aspects and this is kind of with all the movies at the time it has a mild gross out factor feel you know you just have a lot of little things to kind of gross you out like when he gets picked up by the tow truck driver that seems a little bit gross when he comes in and sees Kumar naked and all this stuff so there's a lot of these like gross out type scenes this was a kind of a popular thing at the time it doesn't really bother me that much but it does stand out as like a little bit more of gross out humor versus today and really the only cons I could really come across with this movie is that it has some bad CGI or not the best CGI they have a couple of these dream sequences where Harold or Kumar are dreaming and it's not as good as it would be done today but I can't really hold it against it I really have nothing bad to say about it this movie is near perfect if I were to rate it I'd probably give it like a 9 to a 9.5 out of 10 which is near perfect for me I really just don't have any flaws with it like the story it by itself is good and entertaining and worth watching but on top of that it's jam-packed with things that are actually funny and not just like five or ten funny things I mean this movie just hits you with non-stop funny situation after funny 
disappointing situation. So to be honest, it's near perfect. I would struggle to find, you know, a comedy that would be better than this. It's for sure in my top five comedies of all time. And buy, try, or pass is 100% a buy for me because I absolutely love this movie. I wasn't really as interested or impressed with Harold and Kumar 2 and the third one. It actually killed a lot of the magic that I felt was in this movie. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. Have a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.